Hello everybody, my name is Python and welcome back to the second half of this massive Terraria recording. The goal of course is to try and get ourselves 100 fishing crates to open by the end of the session. So yeah, my friends, if you're excited for this Terraria episode, please do be sure, of course, to drop a like rating. We seem to be going for 2,500 likes per episode, so if we can go for that as a goal, that would be absolutely fantastic. And of course, guys, if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell if you don't want to miss out on future Terraria episodes. But guys, thank you so much for watching. I do hope you guys enjoy the episode and let's get right into it. Jungle surface. Perfect. I can get that done super easy. Oh, Guys, I've just done the stupidest thing I think I've ever done. So you know how a lot of the time when I put something in the bin, I will like go ahead and put something over it so I can, you know, get rid of it and the bin symbol returns? I th I accidentally just did that to my magic mirror. Uh. <laughs> oh well. Uh, what? There are not enough villagers near that pylon to access it. What are you on about? Like I'm I'm so confused. Like this should work. Yep. So the painter just arrived back here, and yeah, that was the cause. It was the jungle pylon that didn't have a lot of people left. So. <sighs> yeah, glad we got that figured out. All right, so back to the fishing. We're looking for the catfish, I think it was. Hey, there it is. Catfish is donezo. Wait, so I wonder. I wonder if I could put the forest pylon down by the fisherman. Because if I can, then I'm probably going to go ahead and elect to do that instead. So let's put it down. Let's see what happens. So, boop. hey, it does work. Nice. Fantastic. That's good to know. Good to know. All right. What have we got here? Crate potion. Got some high-end bait. Nice. Very much appreciating that. And yeah, got a couple of gold coins out of that as well. Pretty happy about that. I guess all we got to do is just get ourselves down to the lava and see about getting ourselves some obsidian crates because I think that's where we get the things from. Hey guys, check this out. There's lava, which is like really high up. What? This seems higher up than it should be, man. Have I got drunk terrain generation or is that like a feature? Maybe you can get lava pools sort of higher up. That is really strange. I'm going to go check that out real quick. Because I swear that isn't supposed to be that high up. Especially on a large world. Something seems a little bit off about that, my friends. Alright, let's go and blow... Oh, Jesus Christ! Well, that scared the ever-living poop out of me. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> ah, okay. So, even today, you can still go ahead and blow up obsidian to pick it up. Oh, the bound goblin is around somewhere. Mm. Where is he? Where is he? Are you around here, buddy? Okay. Well, the creature detector doesn't seem to be going anywhere. So, it's either below me or above me. Oh. Nope. Well, he's, he's gone. Alrighty, guys. Well, this is the lava pool we are left to work with. Is it going to be enough to fish in? Um, I'll be honest with you. I'm not entirely sure. I'm pretty sure if I open this little area up, that should help. Okay. Uh, I guess all we could do now is just sort of give it a go. I mean, if it works, then I guess that'll be freaking awesome. So, here we go. Sonar potion. Fishing potion, and let's see what we get. We're looking for just obsidian crates. That's literally it. We need obsidian crates. Boom. Let's take one of those as well. Come on, please be enough. Please, please be enough. I'm going to be so sad if it's not enough. I should be enough to do this. Aha! Yes, it is. Okay. It's just a little bit slow, I guess. Okay. Well, it's just obsidian crates. That's literally all I'm looking for. If I can make this bait stretch enough, I might be able to get enough crates to the point where I get a lava proof fishing hook. And then I can basically unlimited fish inside of lava because even this bait will count. Well, guys, I was originally going to go until the bait ran out, but uh, our fishing power seems to be a little bit on the low side at the minute. So I'm not so sure that I'm going to be getting anything else. There's an obsidian fish. I know those things are 
are useful for some potions, but uh, okay. I think we'll leave it there for that. For that. Uh, but look at this, guys. We do have ourselves four obsidian crates, which is a very good amount. Uh, right, so those can stay behind. Let's go ahead and open these bad boys up. There's an obsidian long a uh, lock box. Okay, cool. Flame waker boots. What the heck are they? Are they like, no, they're not like lava waders, are they? Never get cold feet again. Huh. All right, what else have we got here? Hanging pot, potted ember tendrils, uh, mana potions, lava serpent bowl. What? No, you can't wear it on your head. I mean, of course not. <laughs> That'd be a bit silly, wouldn't it? All right, come on, lava proof fishing hook. Yeah, oh, whoa, hey, hey, whoa, whoa, hang on, did we get it? Yeah, we did, there, there we go. Nice! A small explosion that will spread water. Hey, that sounds pretty cool. But there we go. There's the uh, there's a lava proof fishing hook. Absolutely brilliant. We can now infinitely fish inside of lava. And that is fantastic. Look at this. Mini volcano. Dude. And yeah, once we get ourselves a shadow key from the dungeon, dude, we're gonna have ourselves so many things to get, dude. Whoa! Yo, dude, check this out, man. That is a cool piece of furniture. Right, if I could place it down. That, oh, my God, that is so cool. Oh, my God. Guys, if we ever made ourselves a hell base, you bet your sweet butt were about to go ahead and put some of these things down in there. Mini volcano. Uh, oh, it literally is just a tiny mini volcano. <laughs> That's adorable. Oh, man, I, I kind of want to put it up there. That's so dumb. Hey, jungle surface quest. Nice. All right. Well, we can pop over there immediately. We can hopefully get this thing done uh, pretty quick. Uh, I don't really want to use my last sonar potion until we're going for crates again. Uh, talking of which, there's a wood crate. Nice one. Uh, tropical barracuda, I think it is, is what the quest wish was called, right? Hey, there it is. Fantastic. All right, let's do this thing. So, let's pop over here. Crate potions again. Look at that, man. We have got so many crate potions. It is beautiful. Uh, we no longer need the lava flies. Uh, we've got quite a lot of bait going on here. So, uh, I guess what would be a nice idea is if we put that in there, right? And then we just do a little bit of a count. So, 34, 47, 50, 52, 55 crates. We have a grand total of 55 crates. Do we think we can get ourselves up to 100 with 12 crate potions? To be honest, I think that would be easy as pie. All aboard the B Express! Or the B Express! <laughs> I'm hilarious. Not really. I'm actually really not. All right, let's go ahead and get ourselves back down the old dinamite hall. Oh my gosh, this thing went crazy, didn't it? <laughs> oh my god. Whoa. All right, we've got to be careful around here, man. We could quite easily die full damage, huh? Uh-huh. Uh, yeah, because I don't have the horseshoe on because apparently I'm very stupid. I put it away somewhere and I can't remember where. Don't worry, I didn't get rid of it like the freaking magic mirror. I'm not that stupid. So, yeah. Oh, oh god, that could have killed us. <gasps> Alright, gotta be careful, baby. Gotta be careful. Uh, that's pretty substantially sized, but it's sort of more widthy than depthy. That makes no sense, but you guys get what I mean, right? So what we need to do here is we need to make this into like one large lava pool, okay? Well, ladies and gentlemen, I don't know about you guys, but I think this is a pretty good size lake for fishing in lava. Yeah, I mean, there's got to be more than 300 blocks there, right? Okay, so ladies and gentlemen, buffing up, let's do this thing. Even with master bait. We should be able to go ahead and get some cool stuff. And yes, we will start picking up obsidian fish as well. So, as always, flaffing koi? What the hell? Okay, we didn't get that before. All right, well, we're getting a couple of these things, huh? That's kind of nice. Oh, nice! Yes! I was really wanting this. So this is the hell counterpart to the to the magic conch. The demon conch will teleport me to hell. Dude. Oh my god, I'm so happy about that, bro. Dude, really really happy about that. Okay, so now we have infinite access to the underworld. We don't even need to make ourselves a elevator. So I mean, that's a huge freaking win, isn't it? I just remembered. Isn't there supposed to be an obsidian swordfish that you can get as well? 
Like, those are, that's a weapon, isn't it? But is it hard mode? I remember it doing quite a lot of damage, something like 70. But I don't know. I can't remember. I don't think I've ever actually had it before. So, I mean, we could always try and go for that in this series. You know, Obsidian Fort Swordfish. I mean, I think you get it from the underworld or can it be gotten from anywhere where you love a fish? I don't know. I, I genuinely have no idea. But anyways, guys, we're on our final crate potions worth of uh, crate potion fishing, crate fishing. Yeah, we, yeah, that. So, yeah. Oh, man. So, I am very, very interested to see what the flare fin koi and the obsidian fish can make uh, when I get back to base. And then, yeah, I guess after that, we'll go ahead and do some more fishing. We're going to try and get ourselves up to 100, my friends. That is the session goal at this point, my friends. I'm so looking forward to doing that and then just going absolutely absolutely ham with it dude and back to base we are okay so let's go ahead and see what we can make with the flare thing koi and the obsidian fish i'm very very interested i've never actually gotten either of them before so seafood dinner four minute and then we've got the inferno potion ah that's how you make it huh i must admit i did always wonder all right what about the obsidian fish Ah, there we go. Potion of Return. That's how you make it. Yeah, there it is, ladies and gentlemen. Potion of Return and then the Recall Potion as well. Uh, let's go and make a whole bunch of these things. There we go. And then we'll make a bunch of those as well. So we've got Recall Potions and also Potions of Return. Absolutely fantastic. I, I am very, very happy that we've done all of this fishing today because it's just, it, it's allowed us to get ourselves so many things that we've needed or, well, didn't even know that we need, you know? There's just so much cool stuff going on. Right, did I have any day bloom left or did, oh, I think it was all used up in the recoil potions. Okay, fair enough. I mean, that's not really too much of a heartbreaker. Uh, so, yeah, guys, where should we go fishing next? I, one of the things I was thinking of doing is maybe doing some fishing over in the corruption well that's just rude that is hey we've got a purple clubber fish straight off the rip uh yeah that's gonna be probably the only real threat that we have around here is that those devourers huh all right well whatever the case let's go and get back to our fishing we're gonna do three more crate potions worth of fishing in the corruption uh we're gonna get ebon koi which is very very nice uh because we can use them in potions of i think it's either wrath or rage blimey o'reilly we seem to be picking up these freaking purple clubber fish quite a lot there's actually like four of them down at the bottom there and then i've got like three or four in my inventory as well Woo! Okay, we might be getting a few gold coins from fishing those bad boys out, huh? All right, but for now, my friends, we do actually have ourselves one corrupt crate. It would be nice, of course, if we had some more. We're about halfway through our little sesh here. There's one more crate potion to go through. And just a few seconds remaining here, ladies and gentlemen. Let's do one more fish here. And boom. All right, that'll do it. So, out of all of that, we've got ourselves three corrupt crates, a whole bunch of other crates here. And, uh, well, there's rather a lot of uh, purple clubber fish down on the uh, on the bed there. So, yeah, we, we got a lot of stuff going on there, huh? <laughs> yeah, I'll tell you what. Why don't we go ahead and do some fishing down in the underground tundra? It's also where our fishing quest is for today. So, might as well do some crate fishing while we're here. Oh, well, we've got it first... <laughs> First time go. Oh my god! Wow, that luck is uh, that luck is kind of insane right there. Holy moly! Hey, I'm a cave fish. Very welcome. Ah, looks like there might be a very real possibility we'll run out of bait, and then we'll have to go ahead and pick up a whole bunch of the lower end bait that we've got going on. Now, obviously, because we're doing an absolute freaking ton of crate fishing, one of the things that we're going to wind up getting a lot of is bait from the crates. So, yeah, bait from the crate. Bait from the crate. Bait from the crate. Oh, I'm sorry, that was terrible. Ah, <laughs> uh, well, there goes all the bait, my friends. Uh, let's go and see what else we've got going on here. There's a balloon puffer fish, more specular fish, frost dagger fish, consumable. Okay, uh, we've got a blue puffer fish, and then finally, some bomb fish. Okay, how do these things... Oh, is that it? They counted as range damage now. Wait. So you only get one of these per time? Well, that seems a bit pointless, doesn't it? What the heck's the point in having the frost daggerfish in the game now? Uh, seems a little bit silly, that does. That's got to be a bug, surely. 
only getting one frost dagger fish at a time when i initially saw that drop i i was thinking oh hey maybe this is just like a a one-time use thing and you're able to like permanently and infinitely just chuck them around right but no all right buddy angler pants yes the full set of fishing armor is now acquired guys absolutely fantastic i'm so happy about that so uh that should go ahead and certainly help us in our pursuit for crates so yeah let's do a quick tally up again so that is what 79 84 86 89 95 98 101 We've actually done it, guys. We've got 101 crates on us, man. And we've still got potions remaining. Oh, my goodness. How epic is that, eh? That is seriously epic. I mean, to be honest, we didn't really have much low-end bait anyway. So, yeah, I don't really feel like I'm uh, missing out too much by not doing anything with them. But, yeah, I'm super glad that we've got the demon conch. But I think what we're going to do is we're going to open them all sort of... I don't know, in tier order? Maybe we do wooden first, then iron, then all of the biome crates, and then the gold ones, okay? I mean, gold, I would still say, is maybe the best sorts of crates you can get, right? So, yeah. Man, I'm excited. I am excited, and I'm sure you guys are as well. 101 crates are about to be opened. So, uh, how are we going to do this? Maybe we just need to put down like a whole bunch of chests. Ah, oh, dang it. I thought the purple club of fish was a hammer. It is not. Uh, so, me going ahead and selling my previous hammer. Uh, that's probably not the strongest thing I've ever done. But uh, anyways, we're just going to go and chuck ourselves down a whole bunch of these things. And then, obviously, we'll wind up, you know, organizing everything off camera between episodes, I would imagine. In fact, I'll tell you what. Let's start off with the oysters. What are we going to get? Any black pearls at all? Okay, no, plenty of white pearls and not really too much else. Uh, so this gives minor improvements towards stats. So I think that's always going to be worth uh, keeping on us. And then the white pearls, I do believe, are used in making luck potions. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I guess we're just going to power through this. 50 wood crates. Let's just freaking do this thing, man. Oh my gosh. I really hope we get an aglet. Oh, I could see an aglet, actually. Nice. All right, let's just do deposit all. And this is all of the stuff we got out of the wooden crate. So, yep, very glad that we've got ourselves an aglet. I don't think we had that. Uh, what else have we got? We've got some journeyman bait. As I was telling you guys, we're going to get ourselves a lot of bait, aren't we? So, yeah, pretty happy about that. I might go put the bait uh, maybe in this uh, second to last chest over here. And then we can always keep track of what's going on. But, yeah, definitely a good haul here. So, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty happy about that. All right, on to the iron crate. All right, this is where stuff is really going to start getting nuts. All right, so quick stack away all of the money. There was 27 gold there. Let's see what we get here. Wait, what? Oh, the falcon blade has been nerfed. It's no longer a hard mode weapon. Huh, okay. We've got 64 gold coins out of that. Absolutely beautiful. Oh, I just quick stacked a whole bunch of that stuff away. That was definitely not something I wanted to do. But yeah, let's see what else we got going on here. So silver bars, tungsten bars. There's the bait. Looking very, very nice. And look at that, guys. We've even got like a ginger beard. Various other things. I guess we're going to grab out the biome crates next. Ooh, very excited for these ones. Uh, let's start off with the obsidian crates since we have the highest amount of them. Whoa. That's a high amount of stuff. Holy crap. There's the obsidian lock boxes. More high-end bait. Absolutely beautiful. We got a lava charm out of that. Nice. That's fantastic, actually. All right, so we've got three of the frozen oasis and corrupt crates. So I'll tell you what, let's do the jungle crates next. What do we get? Two boomsticks. Nice. And again with the high-end bait, ladies and gentlemen. Look at that. Isn't that nice? Wait, did we get bamboo from that as well? Yeah, that's kind of cool, actually. All right. Okay, so let's move on to the frozen crates. Okay, there's a whole bunch more gold coins there, by the way. Let's go put those away. Uh, what have we got here? More high-end bait. Holy crappers. Uh, ice skate. Flurry boots. Very, very nice. Man. Dude, we are getting so much freaking moolah. It is insane, isn't it? All right. So, yep. Yeah, got those going on. Oasis crates. Did we get ourselves a magic conch? No, we did not. We got ourselves a scarab fishing rod, though. And the dune rider boots. Very nice. 
I'm pretty happy about that, actually. Despite the fact that we didn't really get too much interesting. Yeah, I, I count my lucky stars that we got ourselves at least some things. All right. And then here, uh, yeah, journeyman bait, band of star power, some more crates. Yeah, that's kind of cool. Uh, so yeah, guys, while editing this episode, I discovered I didn't actually open the golden crate. So yeah, we need to do that, don't we? One, two, three, four, five. What do we even get? We've got ourselves a hardy saddle, quite a lot of uh, high-end bait here. And well, quite a lot of stuff in general, to be honest with you. Yeah, pretty happy about that. Very happy about that, in fact. Hey, <laughs> I do love all of the bait. Look at that, 56 high-end bait. Woohoo! All right, so there we go, ladies and gentlemen. That is everything from the 101 crates that we just opened up. I mean, yeah. We've got a lot of epic stuff here, haven't we? Oh, my word. That is so insane, guys. How much money do we have now? We have a platinum coin. Are we about to start making a platinum point coin pile? Like, that'll be freaking insane, huh? All right, guys. So I'll tell you what. While we're going ahead and doing this fishing quest to end off today's episode, let's do the comments of the video for this video here. So Nathan McIntyre says, Python, the Titan Glove now makes all melee weapons auto-swing. Also, the Brain of Confusion is now overpowered. You see, the thing is, about the Brain of Confusion, now would be about the right time for us to go ahead and try and make ourselves a custom Crimson Biome, and therefore try to take down the Brain of Cthulhu to try and get the Brain of Confusion, right? So, oh wow, I wasn't expected to get a corrupt crate, but hey-ho, I guess weirder things have happened. Also, there's still a bunch of clubberfish down there. But I really didn't know that about the Titan Glove. Now that is absolutely fantastic. I mean, to be honest, late game, I don't know if there are many weapons that aren't auto-swing. I'm just trying to think. I think the True Knight's Edge is an auto-swing. Uh, what else is an auto-swing? Maybe the Christmas Tree Sword? I'm, ju I'm just trying to think of all of the late game weapons that aren't freaking auto-swing. There's not many, is there? But the fact that the Titan Glove now makes it the every single one does, that's cool. I very much enjoy that. We got nine purple clubfish. Jesus. That is so dumb, guys. All right. Well, that is going to just about wrap it up, I guess. Let's go ahead. Oh, my God. Let's get back to base. Let's sell all of these clubfish. Jesus. Get out of it. 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 Open this up. Ooh, nice. Another ball I hurt and some Spelunker potions. Very nice. All right. Well, we'll go put those away in just a minute. Let's go ahead and see what we get from our fishing quest here. Dude, we've done quite a lot of fishing quests on this world so far. I wouldn't be surprised if we start getting, like, the golden fishing rod and all that kind of stuff eventually. I don't think it's too far away now, my friends. I really, really don't. So, for now, though, my friends... Thank you guys very much for watching. It has been a long, long session for me, like a three-hour recording. So I sincerely hope that you guys have enjoyed today's episode. If you have, of course, do be sure to drop a like rating. I would very, very much appreciate it, my friends. Hit the subscribe button, and don't forget to ding that bell if you don't want to miss out on future content. But for now, my friends, we're going to wind up organizing all of the stuff, you know, between episodes. Don't worry, I'm not going to do it on camera with you guys, because that's going to be a bit boring, isn't it? So, yeah, for now... Thank you guys very much for watching. I sincerely hope you guys have enjoyed today's episode. I really, really have. I enjoy fishing in Terraria so freaking much. Well, I mean, aside from when you're being harassed by any kind of event or goblin army, you know what I'm saying? But uh, yeah, thank you for watching. Do have yourselves a fantastic rest of your day. And I will see you guys in the next episode.